in continuation of Captain Television's awareness of the dangers of skin bleaching, also referred to as skin whitening, our uh, in-house medical consultant, Dr. Lubusayo Mudupe, has lent his voice to the numerous dangers inherent in the unhealthy and wholesome practice. The report is presented from our studio. The growing global market for skin lightener is estimated to reach more than $12 billion by 2027. Some people with dark skin are willing to pay large amounts for a light skin tone, driving growth in skin bleaching market. When it comes to lighting the natural color of your skin, many else officially warn against skin bleaching. Skin bleaching is common in the environment. Even just today, I still saw a guy coming to me for a procedure having the same issue. I just smiled. Ah, where are you from? He said from Undo. Why are you doing this kind of thing? So we talked about it. Yeah, skin bleaching has no known advantage. Because it is just as pronounced is a way of making your skin lighter than it is naturally. However, skin bleaching is not medical necessary procedure. Instead, it's official undertaking due to misguided virtual and cultural belief that light skin is more attractive than dark skin. Who says being lighter makes you more handsome or more beautiful than someone that is dark? Again, it's our society. You have people talking about uh, most of the models, most of uh, the people you see on TV tend to be on the lighter uh, complexion than the darker complexion. Probably it's the society that is making people to think. Of course, we also have adverts showing that black is beautiful. So it's the choice of individual. But the truth is that there's a natural color you have that we need to protect. In addition to giving you an uneven skin tone or lighter skin than you intended, there are long-term medical effects that may occur from ingredients in skin bleaching, like hydroquinone and mercury. For with prolonged use and with the skin very thin, all these chemicals can get into the system via the blood. It can destroy. Some will get into where well, once something gets into the blood, it is already in all the parts of the body. It gets to the brain. There can be loss of memory. There can be tremor. It gets to the kidneys, destroy the kidney. The person will come down with chronic kidney disease that can lead to <laughs> dialysis. Dialysis or renal transplant. Bleaching it, well, you are exposing yourself to more danger. One, that skin will become, uh, the thickness will reduce. Skin on its own is protecting, protective. And so if you reduce the thickness, then you are prone to have skin infection because that is not your natural. You have removed layers. Since skin bleaching is growing in practice among dark skin people who may internalize racist and cultural ideas that hold light skin in higher regards, despite its dangers, the doctor. There is no known advantage that you are black you are beautiful, that you are uh, 
light, uh, light color. You are also beautiful. Black does not need to want to be like white. White does not need to want to be like uh, black. There's no need. You are wonderfully and fearfully made as you can. It's so simple. No known advantage. For those bleaching, please stop. A lot of them, you notice, they now have even dark spots. They need to, that, some bones, a lot of things happen to them. And you just notice black, brownish discoloration. So they just need to, you, you see their leg, you see veins. Because of skin thinning. There's no known disadvantage. Please talk. I am Precious Ayolu, reporting from Kaftan TV News.